Settle down, children. We're going to have a talk about the birds and the bees. Not the birds and the bees you're thinking of. We're not talking about fertilisation and cross-pollination or even self-pollination. No, we're going to have the chat that your dad doesn't want to have even more than that chat. Partly because he doesn't know what he's talking about. Partly because if you do have the chat, it means you are an eco-warrior pussy and you're not a proper petrol head. Dad doesn't really know. So it's up to me. I'm going to tell you. We're going to talk about the birds and the bees, the wider environment, plants and animals, the ecology, marine life, coral reefs, dolphins, whales and stuff. And what the motor trade is doing about it, which is the DPF. And we need to understand what DPFs do in order to make them work properly and cost yourself less money. A DPF is a diesel particulate filter. It removes harmful deposits from the diesel that you are selfishly burning and spewing into the environment without a second thought. Those harmful deposits that are in the exhaust are taken out in a large surface area monolith, uh, honeycomb, trapped, burnt, and converted to uni unicorn piss, which then trickles gently out of the end of your exhaust and creates beauty everywhere it goes. So in order for your DPF to work properly and cost you less money to repair it, you need to understand how it works, what it does, and how to look after it. DPF is a relatively new idea to fix an old problem. Uh, the combustion process builds up a lot of carbon and crap and soot, which has to get burnt off somehow. Back in the old days, we used to decoat cars and it was a long and laborious process. Did anybody mention chucking brake fluid down your carburetor? No, 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 we didn't do that. But these days we've got different ways of doing it. And the DPF with a few different methods pretty much does the same thing. It gets really, really hot. It traps up particles and breaks them down without going too far into it. To look after your DPF and to make it work and do what it does well, it will need to be regenerated. Regenerated means that you're going to remove the buildup that the process has caused. You've got black soot building up, uh, deposits that are stuck to the inside of your DPF, um, causing all sorts of problems with your car. Um, overboost condition faults where you go into limp, um, uh, MOT failures and stuff like that. So in order to look after your DPF, you need to do a couple of things. One is do not put cheap fuel in it. There's probably going to be loads of people in the comments going, it's all the same fuel, it all comes from the same. It doesn't. I've been doing real world studies on this for over 10 years. And seven out of 10 times I've told people to stop using cheap fuel. That alone has, has fixed their problem. All right, this is real world stuff, not internet stuff. Real world. Experienced people, empirical proof. I don't care if your dad works in a refinery and what he's told you, I'm telling you. Stop using cheap fuel. Treat your car to decent fuel. The dolphins will thank you. Secondly, when you're doing a regeneration run, it basically means that you just take your car on the motorway for at least 15 minutes, over 60 miles an hour, over 2,000 revs. And whilst you're driving along, the car will sense that you're in the peak conditions for it to get the DPF nice and hot and get it to do its job really, really well, which is burn off all the crap that it's collected over the last few weeks. So regeneration run to recap, over 60, over 2,000 revs, over quarter of an hour let's say half an hour will, will be best you need to do it at least once a month take your car for a good run if you're already going for a good run brilliant if you're one of these people that just drives around town in second gear and picks up the kids and stops off at your favorite little shops and engine never gets warm that dpf isn't going to be able to look after itself so this is for you take your car out give it a good run once in a while the only other way to regenerate it is at a garage, which can get expensive, requires diagnostic equipment, and you've got to go and visit a garage, which means it's going to cost you loads of money. 
because we're all crooks. Anyway, I digress. Your DPF will do its job very well if you look after it. It will convert all your nasty chemicals, turn them into unicorn piss, send it out the exhaust, and then everybody will live happy. And then greenery will spring up around your car. When your car is producing unicorn piss, everywhere you go looks like this. Just green, pretty. Everything will be serene and you won't have big bills. That's all you need to do. Unicorn piss.